Hey there Aquarius and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. This is going to be a reading for the week of January 10th through January 16th, 2022. We're going to take a look at past, present, and near future energies as well as any energies the universe wants you to keep in mind. Also Aquarius, please remember energies do go both ways so I may be picking up on your energy or your person's energy. So take the energies as they resonate. There you are. <clears throat> okay, Aquarius, the main energy for your reading is the Knight of Wands this week. You're very passionate about something. You feel very called and drawn to do something. It's almost like you're like, okay, yes, I'm attracted to that and I'm, I, I want to do that. Like almost like a moth to a flame type of energy. In the recent past, you get the Five of Wands, the Star, and the Tower. There's a conflict going on here within you, okay? You know deep down that something needs to come crumbling down. You know that something in your life, and I feel like it's a connection, is not stable, it's not grounded, it's built like a house of cards. It's meant to come falling down, but you're conflicted about something when it comes to that. It could be that you really don't want whatever this is to come crumbling down. It could be that you think you can resolve this somehow. There's some conflict tied up to this unstable energy in your recent past. We'll see when we clarify. In the current situation, you get the King of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Empress. There's somebody very, very important to you showing up here, somebody that you care so much about. Not only do you have love for this person, but you look at them and you're like, you, you're the person that I want. You're all that I want to be with. And I see you doing something about that in the current situation. I'm not sure exactly what you're doing, but there's definitely action being taken towards this person. And it's because you and them carry a lot of love for each other. In the near future, you get the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Magician. You're manifesting a brand new beginning in love with this person. Queen of Wands is like, again, somebody very attractive, somebody that you care a lot about, somebody that you look at them and you're like, wow, like a moth to a flame type of energy. You are just drawn to this person. And I see you manifesting a brand new loving beginning with this person. So let's clarify. First, I'm going to clarify the main energy for your reading this week, which is the Knight of Wands. I want to see what this energy is about. Knight of Wands is clarified by the Knight of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Justice. Okay. You have love and passion for this person. This is showing up all throughout your reading. Whoever this person is or whatever this connection is, lots of love, lots of, lots of passion. Let's get that out of the way. However, there's also an energy of confusion here. You are very confused or very indecisive when it comes to this person. And it could be because you currently feel like there's no equality. There's no fairness. There's no balance in this connection between you and them. And so even though you're drawn to them, even though you care a lot about them, I feel like you're confused about whether or not you should approach them and do something about it or whether or not that's going to mess with the balance in this connection. Energetically, there's always an energetic power exchange when you're with somebody right? Sometimes you're more dominant, sometimes they're more dominant, and you have to be very aware of the energy of the connection to not disrupt the balance. And I feel like in the current situation, your energy for this week, you're a little bit confused about where that balance lies and whether you should be the one taking action now or whether you should take a back seat and let the other person be the dominant one and you be the receptive one. But we'll see when we clarify your current situation. Let's start off by clarifying this five of wands in your recent past. Five of Wands is clarified by the King of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Queen of Swords. You and this person are a divine pair. Um, and again, you are an air sign, so this is like your type of divine pair. Like this person was match made in heaven type shit for you. But the problem is I see separating you two, as you guys can see, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, and in the middle, somebody emotionally disconnected. Somebody is conflicted. Somebody's emotions are not in this. And that could be what is causing this conflict. It could be that you're not emotionally invested in this. It could be that they're not emotionally invested in this or that one of you or the other is perceiving the other person to not be emotionally invested. Either way, that lack of emotional investment, whether it's perceived or actual, is what's causing or what caused conflict here in the recent past for you. Let's clarify the star. The star is clarified by the five of pentacles, the two of swords, the three of cups. Okay, I feel like this is your energy, um, Aquarius. 
you feel abandoned by this person. You want to reconcile with them. I feel like you guys are not together at this point or separated. You want a reconciliation here. But because you feel like this person abandoned you or they left you or they abandoned the connection or they were just kind of like, you know, left you out in the cold, it was a painful separation for you, a painful breakup. Even though you have this desire to reconcile, you're closed off to it. It's almost like you're like, I want this, but I'm not emotionally open to this. I'm still experiencing the pain from what happened in the past, the pain of the separation, the pain of the breakup. And so even though I see you having this desire to reconcile and get back together with this person, I don't see you actually taking action or even allowing it to come in because you're still carrying pain from the separation that happened in the past. Let's take a look at the tower for you in your recent past. The tower is clarified by the Empress, which you get again in the current situation in the same row, the Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. This has been a long time coming. Something here needed to crumble. Something here needed to come crashing down in order for you to be able to experience a brand new emotionally fulfilling um, connection with this Empress person, with this person that you care a lot about. In the recent past though, something had to come crumbling down. I don't know what it is. It could have been the breakup, the separation. Something wasn't stable. And in order for you to have this brand new beginning, this emotionally fulfilling new beginning with this person that you love and care so much about, that needed to come to an end. It needed to come, oops, it needed to come crashing down. And I feel like you let it. I feel like you weren't really fighting it. You're like, okay, if this needs to come crashing down, it's going to come crashing down. Let's take a look at the King of Cups in the current situation. But either way, whatever came crashing down brought about beautiful energy because in order for new life to come, you know, it's, it's a metaphor, but in order for that new beginning to come through, it had to come to an end first. And you allowed it. And this new beginning happened in the recent past. In the current situation for the King of Cups, you get the Knight, or I'm sorry, the Page of Wands, the Lovers, and the Sun. Um, hello, like, wow, so much love, so much happiness, an intense, intense connection between you and this person, and I see you slowly allowing yourself to open up to it. Again, I don't feel like you're 100%, like, you're like, okay, I'm committed to this 100%, let's get married right now, but you feel the love, you feel the connection, you feel the happiness, and you're allowing yourself to feel it. You're, you're you know, you're, you're dipping your toe in the pool of love, as they say. As they say. Who says that? Me. I just said that. <laughs> Let's take a look at the Knight of Swords in your current situation. I think that's what I'm going to title this video. Dipping your toe in the pool of love. Oh, Aquarius. Anywho. Knight of Swords in the current situation. For the Knight of Swords in the current situation, you get the Eight of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Chariot. You really, really want to take action towards something. The universe is like pushing you from behind and being like, go Aquarius, go, go, go. And you're just kind of like, wait, let me think about this. Let me think about this and let me think about this some more. You're, you're making movement. There is progress being made here. You are learning how to listen to the universe when you feel called to do something, you're doing it. But again, you're investing like 10% of what you have to give. So if 100% would be like you going and you know communicating with this person and charging ahead, you're overthinking it. And because you're overthinking this so much, you're taking like a 10th of the action. So instead of like going and communicating with them, maybe you'll send them a DM. Maybe you'll like their post on Instagram or something, right? And it's because of all this overthinking here. But even still, you're, you're making progress. You're learning something as a result of all of this. Let's take a look at this Empress for you in the current situation. Empress is clarified by the Five of Wands, the Queen of Wands, which you get again in your near future, the Knight of Pentacles. Again, you're slowly moving past this conflict. There is a conflict tied up to you and this person. You got the Five of Wands in the recent past showing up under you and this person one of you or both of you not being emotionally invested in this. I feel like you're moving past that conflict, whatever that issue was in the recent past, you're moving past it, but very slowly, very, very slowly. It almost feels with the Knight of Pentacles because it's the slowest moving energy in the deck, you may feel like you're not moving at all, like you're just standing in place. Energetically, you're moving. You're definitely moving. 
Let's start clarifying your near future. I want to take a look at this Ace of Cups for you in the near future. Ace of Cups is clarified by the Devil, the Ten of Cups, the King of Cups. Energetically, you have a brand new beginning here in love. You and this person have a brand new beginning. There is happiness. There is love between the two of you. The problem is somebody here is still carrying some toxic traits. Now, what I mean by toxic traits is this person could be abusing substances. They could be overthinking and overanalyzing things to the point where they start reading into situations that don't exist. They could be carrying a lot of fears and limiting beliefs from the past, from your connection, from different connections that they're bringing into this. And so even though you have a beautiful energy, brand new beginning in love, tons of love, tons of happiness, somebody in the near future is bringing in some toxicity alongside that. And again, this could just be fears or insecurities, but it is accompanying this brand new beginning. Let's take a look at the Queen of Wands for you in the near future. Queen of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of, of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles. Some of you may be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It's shown up three times at this point. Um, either way, the potential for long term is there. You and this person have a lot of stable energy between the two of you. There's a lot of long-term potential. So this connection could definitely go the distance, but you both have to work at it. You have to work with each other. And I see this person meeting you halfway. Like you're doing half the work, they're doing half the work. You guys are both working with each other in the near future to really make this work and to make sure that you both feel supported and loved and like you have your needs being met in this connection in the near future. Let's take a look at the magician because you're still manifesting something here in the near future. I want to see what that is. The magician is clarified by the three of swords, the ace of swords, the nine of swords. That's what this devil is. Somebody in the near future is afraid of heartbreak. They are terrified of experiencing this heartbreak again. And so even though they feel the love and they feel the happiness, they're bringing in this terrified, scared energy because they don't want to feel pain. They don't want to feel heartbreak. They don't want to feel that. And so they're really, really scared of that. And I feel like it's possibly you, Gemini, because in the near future, you get the magician. Somebody here is manifesting some clarity about the pain and the heartbreak that they experienced as part of this connection in the past. It may be that there's still some lack of clarity about why we broke up, why we separated, why did you do this to hurt me? Why did you like, you know, just abandon me like that? It's coming up for somebody in the near future and they're not, they're not reenacting it. I don't see it being a problem, but they do want clarity. They do want answers. They need an explanation. Like, why did this happen? We care about each other so much. This connection is so intense. It's so deep. Why did this take place the way it did? All this person wants is clarity. Um, let's take a look at what the universe has for you this week, Gemini. Or, I'm sorry, Aquarius. We're looking at the lover's card. Yeah. From the universe, you get the three of cups, the seven of cups, the two of swords. A reconciliation, somebody definitely wants to reconcile here, but because they're so confused, because there's a lot of plates up in the air and they're juggling a lot of things, they're, they can't see how this reconciliation can happen. And again, you got this in the recent past. You wanted the reconciliation. You want to get back together with this person, but because there's still pain tied up to the separation and the breakup, you can't see how it'll happen and you're also not open to it emotionally. I feel like, again, this is you because in the current situation, the reason you're not open to it emotionally, the reason you're not able to fully allow yourself to feel this reconciliation energy, and you will in the near future, but you currently don't, is because you're still confused. You're still confused about why you guys broke up. Why the separation? Why did this person abandon you? Why did they hurt you the way they did? So you need some clarity. That's all you're looking for is some clarity and some answers to clear up this confusion. I'm going to close off your reading, Aquarius, with a oracle card from the universe. Full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. Step into your power, Aquarius. Step into your power. Step out of this confusion. You know, let yourself feel what you need to feel, but just know you have all the answers that you need. You are so, so powerful this week. You just need to realize it. 
You just need to allow the real you, your real thoughts, your real feelings, your real desires, your real, you know, whatever. You need those to come to come to the surface. So Aquarius, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it resonated, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you again for tuning in, and I will see you here for your reading next week. Bye, Aquarius.